Hey guys, welcome to a quick um, Blender animation tutorial. So um, in this tutorial, let's just download a free uh, character that um, Blender gives out. And uh, the character's name is Rain. And there's a link in the uh, description to the, where you can grab the character for free. All right, once you grab it, uh, go ahead and open it. I'm gonna open mine. All right, so once you open up the file, uh, you should see something very similar to mine. And I'm using Blender 4.1. All right, and uh, in this quick exercise, let's just sneak a peek at how we can just create kind of a really basic uh, animation uh, here in Blender, right? So uh, for anyone who is uh, maybe new to Blender, maybe you are uh, primarily a Maya user or you use some other applications, um, to navigate in Blender, uh, if you middle mouse click, you'll be able to uh, rotate it. And then if you hold down the shift key and then middle mouse, you'll be able to pan around. So that's kind of uh, two super basic things. And then scroll um, on your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. So those are um, important uh, super basics, right? All right, so uh, to get this moving, uh, let's do this. Let's jump into the animation uh, tab. And in here, let's just select all the controllers and we're gonna press I on our keyboard. As soon as we press I, we can see all these keys have been set uh, on the bottom here, right? And you are currently uh, seeing this through a dope sheet. If you want to switch uh, this view here, you can always click on this button here and you can see that I'm currently um, in dope sheet by uh, default when I open up this Blender file, right? If you wanted to switch to timeline, for example, you can see that now we have these uh, controllers and the view changes a little bit, right? So you always have uh, full control over uh, that, right? For now, let's just stay in timeline uh, for a minute. So um, to do this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, let's go ahead and kind of frame our character. And um, the first thing we should do is just kind of get her in the position. And the animation that I'm thinking for this is just super, super simple. Um, it's literally just a little uh, warm up, like a blender warm up. Uh, let's just get her um, squatting, right? Just doing kind of a, kind of a in place squats. So we can just take a look at the basic things like setting up keyframes and maybe changing uh, timing and uh, just seeing how this character works, right? Now, one of the th important things for this character, for this rain character, um, if you go into a layout tab and under um, cloud rig right here, if you press N uh, on your keyboard, you'll see that this uh, is gonna have a slide menu. And if, if you open these up, right, uh, you have all these different cool uh, things that you can control. You have face settings, you have the IKFK controllers, and under layers, for some reason on my computer, I, I'm not seeing any options for the layers. So turn on, um, you know, different controllers and a different layer. But there is uh, a layer uh, panel right here that I can see. And this does exactly the same thing, right? So all of these bone uh, collections will allow me, if I turn them on and off, you can see I have the fingers and I can control, for example, the hair. And this is going to be useful. Honestly, I wish this, these were uh, named as well. Uh, this is like kind of the scarf, but uh, that's okay, right? So we have uh, control over turning on controllers for this rig. All right, so uh, now since we know that, uh, that, let's go ahead and get her in like a default uh, pose first. So I'm gonna go to animation and I'm just gonna simply gonna click. And by the way, if you are, um, you know, a Maya user, one of the things that super, might be super helpful, if you click on this little button right here, you'll have these, uh, this little uh, tools open up. And uh, a lot of times, instead of using a shortcut on the keyboard, you can just simply grab these, and maybe that could be, uh, you know, helpful as well, right? So to get her in the initial standing pose for our little exercise, let's do this. Let's just select uh, the foot. I'm gonna grab this move. And um, before I do anything, actually, right, um, I want to turn on this button right here, and it's called auto keying, right? So turn this button on, and now every time we move something, we should by default have the keys, um, you know, they'll, they'll uh, set themselves. And just move this over. I'm going to take this foot and move it over, so kind of get the character in, in the somewhat default uh, standing pose. Now to lower the arm, I'm going to click on this little. Uh, hand controller and I'm gonna simply move this down right just like this and be careful because this the stretching is on by default so you don't want to stretch it you just want to make sure that it kind of bends the elbow just a little bit and then uh, let's go ahead and rotate it 
and we can rotate it, rotate it using these or we can press R and that's going to give us a rotation as well. And uh, let's just get the arm looking kind of somewhat natural, right? So I'm going to do something like this. That's great. Now, how do I get this arm to, um, you know, do I have to manually set this as well? Um, we can just copy this over. Check this out. If you click on this, you can go to pose and then you can do something called copy pose. Now, if I select this um, other controller, which is going to be on the uh, right hand, right? I can go to pose and instead of saying paste, I can say paste uh, flipped. And that's going to automatically flip uh, the pose to the other side. Honestly, I wish Maya had something like this. Um, by default, I know there's plugins and tools you can use, but um, it's nice that this is actually built right into UI in Blender. All right, now, so now we have this character kind of just standing and uh, waiting to uh, move around. If we want to grab the head, I can grab this controller here and I can control the head. Now check this out, as, as I'm moving the uh, head, you can see the eyes are actually uh, looking straight ahead. And to see this a little bit better, let me actually switch my um, shading. All right, now we can see the textures a little bit better. But you can see as I'm moving the head, the eyes are kind of stuck in place. Now this could be a good thing or a bad thing, right? If I wanted to move the head and I didn't want the eyes to do that, uh, you can always go to layout. And if you scroll down here uh, under face settings, um, you have something called eye target parent. It's currently set to root. But if I drag this um, to the right, you can see it's actually going to switch to head and then the eyes kind of fix themselves, which means if we go back into the animation and attempt to do this again, you see the eyes are now uh, maybe behaving uh, a little bit better for what I'm trying to do, right? So let's say this uh, makes sense. All right, again, if we select all the uh, controllers, you can see all the keys are set, which also means we can go to um, let's go to the next keyframe, which is going to be, let's do like 10 and let's start uh, adjusting our pose, right? So I'm going to select this um, waist, uh, the waist one, and I'm just going to move the character down. And let's say she is doing squats. I'm going to grab uh, this arm, hold on the shift key, select this controller, grab my uh, move and you can grab the move or you can press G on your keyboard. Same thing. Just, I'm just going to do something like this and grab my rotation. Let's go ahead and straighten these uh, wrists. And essentially, I'm just trying to create something that looks like um, kind of a natural position for the arms when they uh, when she bends down, right? Now you can see that my elbow is kind of um, all messed up. So I'm going to actually move the elbow down as well, just rotate it. And now I have something like that. If I select both of these, I can go to pose, copy pose. Let me select, um, let's go ahead and select these as well. And let's do paste flip. All right, now I have the same thing on the other on the other side. And uh, now if we uh, scrub this, we can see uh, what's happening, right? We have the default pose and then the character kind of starts to go into like this new exercise pose. Now to uh, get back up, let's select all of our keys and let's copy one over to 20. So to do that, I'm just gonna simply go to pose. I'll say copy pose, go to frame 20, and let's do pose, let's do paste. And that's going to copy all the keys for us. So now if we um, drag this around, you can see that the character is gonna go from standing to kind of squatting and then standing back up again, right? Um, if we wanted to see the timing of this, of course I can just press play and I can see um, see if I like the uh, speed of this. If I think it's a little bit too fast, I can uh, click on this one time and you can see all of these are yellow and these are gray, which means I can drag this around. Maybe I want the timing to be a little bit slower. So if I drag this and then I can click to deselect it and then click on this one, I can move this to maybe in the middle, right? And now if I try to play this again, you can see that now maybe the speed is a little bit better, right? Now I have all these empty keyframes that I don't really need, right? My timeline is currently set by default to uh, 250. Let's switch this to what this is, which is 30, right? I'm going to go to 30, press enter. And now if I press play, you should see something, uh, you know, like a funny uh, loop of her, you know, exercising, right? Very cool. So that's going to be kind of the basic process of, uh, and if you wanted to, you can also, of course, 
go to uh, layout and then it's going to give you a different shading let's switch this back uh, holding down the shift and middle mouse button I can rotate this if you want to close this right here you can just press N and that's going to shut it down if you want to hide the controllers and just preview the uh, character animation um, you can just simply click on all of these in the outliner and just press H and that's going to hide all the controllers right so now if I press play and by the way, look, check this out. I'm in the uh, layout and I can't press play because I don't have the play button, right? But if I switch my uh, view from dope sheet to timeline, my buttons come up and then I can press play and I can preview my animation. So uh, one of the things that you might notice right away, it, it looks really uh, crazy with her hair sticking up. Let's fix that, right? How do we fix that? Um, I'm going to go back to one. Let's go ahead and go um, back here. Let's press Alt H to bring the controllers back, right? Now we can see them again. And uh, now I'm gonna jump back into animation. And what I wanna do is I want to unhide, like I showed you before, the uh, layers with the controller for the hair. So to do that, I'm gonna jump into this data layer um, section. And I remember that it was number seven, I believe. Yeah, number seven is gonna be the controllers for the hair, right? So now let's do this. Let's select maybe this guy here and let's grab our rotation and our auto uh, auto key is on. So I'm just gonna simply lower this down and do something like that. Very cool. Let's go ahead and go to the middle and maybe here the hair is gonna go uh, up a little bit. And now we can see the animation, right? So it's gonna go like this. And then right here, I want it back up. Um, back i mean back down right so i could do that if i wanted to if i wanted to copy frame one of course i can go uh here i can go to copy pose i can go all the way to the back to frame 30 and do pose uh, paste now the hair is going to be in the same position now if i press play i have something like this now this doesn't look natural but you get the idea right uh, now we have more control over this so for example let's talk about this uh, right here maybe the hair could do something like this and then technically when she's all the way down it would actually you know be a little bit closer to her body right and then same thing here as she goes up it's gonna uh, maintain uh, you know being pulled by gravity right and uh, kind of stay in the same uh, position and then if I go back to frame one uh, you can see it's going to go out and then back in, right? So if we press play, let's see if this kind of makes sense. So of course we can make this better and better, but uh, you get the basic idea, all right? Now uh, let's see what else can we uh, play with really uh, quick. Uh, maybe another thing we can do is let's add some kind of a facial um, expression to this. So if I go into my layers and go on the bottom here, I can see uh, in here there's uh, all these different sections called face. And a lot of them, uh, if you uncheck each one, you can see that it's going to give you literally an army of controllers for each part of the face and this uh, craziness, right? All I need is just face main controllers. So I'm going to uncheck that. And when I say main controllers, I can see that the face rig kind of shows, shows itself. And now let's see if we can control this, right? So let's grab something like, uh, let's grab this top lip here. And let's go ahead and grab the move and see if we can move the lip and we can right so one of the things maybe we can do is on frame uh, you know one right maybe the lip is going to be closed so I'm going to move this just a little bit to activate my keys here so here I'm going to go ahead and say copy copy pose I'm going to go to frame 30 and I'm going to say uh, paste all right then I'm going to go to the middle and right here, let's say she is really, uh, you know, putting a lot of effort into this exercise. So she's going to do something like this. All right. And now if we wanted to see what that looks like, if I press play, uh, you can see there's a little facial expression. Now it's hard to see. So let's go ahead and do the same trick. Let's go to layout, click on our rig, press H to hide it. And now if I press play, I can see that there's a little bit of a effort there, right? Facial expression. So this was, uh, my intention for this was just uh, give you a little quick uh, sample of, uh, you know, a pro the process that you uh, could follow to create your own custom uh, keyframe animations. And this is a cool, uh, you know, cool free rig that you can uh, mess 
mess around with and just practice your animation in Blender. All right, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in our next one.